What's going on, nation? Today, I want to share with you guys a technique that's going to help you lift more weight on chest day when you're doing flat or inclined dumbbell bench pressing. But before we get started, if you guys haven't signed up, I made a profile on my website, MuscularStrength.com. Make sure you go to the pinned comment below and check it out because my app is dropping this month and you guys are going to absolutely love it. One touch access to my meal plan as well as all my programs and all the other information. It's going to be sick. Anyways, back on track. Let's get started here. So I'm going to show you guys both versions, uh, flat and incline. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the entire video because the technique does change a little bit. But basically what happens to a lot of us when we're in the gym and we're doing a, a dumbbell bench press, especially with beginners, is you know, in order to perform a dumbbell bench press with proper form, you have to keep your shoulders retracted like this. Retracting your shoulders allows you to elevate your chest a bit more and press the weight over your chest versus pressing over your shoulders. It basically disengages the shoulders, reduces the risk of injury, all kinds of good stuff. I have a video actually called uh, How to Dumbbell Bench Press Three Golden Rules. I'll link to that down in my pinned comment below too, so you can check that out later. But basically, a lot of people put the dumbbells on their thighs, and then they kind of roll back like this, and then they fight to like get into the proper position and then press the weights up, especially when lifting heavier weights. Now, this is bad for a couple reasons. Number one, all that energy you're wasting to press those weights up for the first time is going to affect how many reps you do on your set. And number two, if you're rolling back from here to here, as you're fighting and pressing those weights up, you're not really keeping your shoulder blades retracted. So you're actually pressing the weight up over your shoulders, which can cause an injury because you're not able to really get them retracted tightly until your hands are like this so you can kind of push back and keep that nice retraction. So what do you do to not only avoid wasting energy, um, but also get into position faster with no matter how much weight that you're lifting? And that's where my technique comes into play. And my technique is actually very easy to do. All you have to do is take those dumbbells and instead of placing them on your thighs, place them more towards the end of your legs like this. So really close to your kneecap, but still resting on your quads. And then all you have to do, guys, is lean forward a little bit like this. And then as you roll backwards, you're going to push off your toes. That's going to help you throw the weights in the air. And as you get about halfway, you're going to extend your arms like this. So it's one motion, push off the toes, extend your arms, and now you're in position. And then from here, you can do one tiny movement like this, which helps you get that action in your back and get your shoulder blades retracted and put you in the best position possible to lift as much weight without injuring your shoulders. And now, like I said in the beginning of the video, sorry guys, there we go. That wire's like all over the place. <laughs> like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, this is more about technique. It's not about how strong you are. And I'm going to show you how to do this with 60s and 115 pound dumbbells. So if I were to go a bit heavier with the 60s, again, I can do these for reps, but it's not a matter of strength rolling back. It's literally push the toes, and then boom, you're in place and you're ready to go. And I should say actually too, the best way to get out of a, be of a bench press, if your hands are at the top like this, you can turn and bring your knees up and go back down. But if you get stuck at the bottom guys, all you gotta do, turn your arms in and then drop straight down. Never do this because you rip your shoulders off. And now I'll show you guys how to do it with heavier weight just to show that it can be done no matter how much weight you're using. Now. I can use 115 pound dumbbells when I do my sets, but let's face it, it is really heavy weight. But it doesn't affect the technique. So, what I like to do is get it on the edge of my legs like this, and then all I'm gonna do is roll forward, and then extend and push off my toes, and keep my arms locked out. <coughs> and then we're in place. So guys, this is a technique that's really helped me. Anyone I've ever trained in the gym, it's something that I always teach. 
because if you don't have a spotter and you want to continue to lift heavy and not have to worry about a shoulder injury, this is the way to do it. However, when it comes to doing the incline bench, it works a little different and it's a bit harder to do, but you can still get away with it if you're good at tossing your arms up. And I'll show you guys really quick with the 60s because I don't incline press 115s for reps. <laughs> Maybe Mike the cameraman does. I don't. <laughs> All right, guys. So this one works a little different because you need to kind of thrust your body backwards. And all you do is put the dumbbells in the same position. You're still going to push off your toes. But what I actually do is I'll come off the bench a bit like this, right? And I'll kind of thrust it back. Watch. <laughs> and then I'm able to get into position and then press up. And then sometimes if I do it fast enough, I'll be able to get the dumbbells up to about halfway and then press them to the top to get into position. But for the most part, you're going to end up at the bottom, but your shoulders will be packed and ready to go. <sighs> so you'll be here, but your shoulders will be nice and packed, and that first rep can actually start from the bottom of the movement. <sighs> so there you guys have it. My technique to get into position easier and faster and lift more weight when doing incline or the flat bench press. For more great tips, make sure you guys click that like and subscribe button. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.